So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Friday, so it's time for another Tax Fridays, a new tax function every single Friday. In today's Tax Fridays, I'm going to do a function that I thought I've already done, but when I was looking at the list of things of functions that I haven't, this is not in there. Really easy to use, really easy to, uh, really, really, really useful. So let's go through it. Before anything, you know, there are some DAX functions where the name tells you exactly what the function does. This is one of them. So add columns, as it says in here, it actually adds a column to a table. It is as easy as that, seriously. The syntax is also very easy. You have add columns, you feed it a table, and then you have to give a name to the new column, and then in here, the calculation, what do you want that new column to do? To sum, to count, to whatever you want. This thing count, or it could be anything. So this is it. There's no remarks, no nothing. It's as simple as that, and it's very, 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 very useful. I'm going to show you an example on when this is actually useful, okay? So I did a video on on a previous Tax Fridays uh, session where I talked about rate of return. And uh, don't worry, you don't need to know anything about rate of return to, in order to be able to follow this video, but it was a very good example of how to use or a use of our columns. So in Power BI, there is a formula called X uh, XIRR that returns in the calculation rate of return annually. But more often than not, you want to have the IRR only. And there is no function in uh, Power BI that does that, but you can actually calculate that using XIRR. So this is something that I found on the Power BI community. If you haven't seen this video and you're interested, there is a link down below so you can go and watch it and see how everything works. But um, this is basically how it works. The difference between IRR and XIRR is the period. So if we look at the table in here, you'll see that I have a period and a cash flow. And sometimes if you want to calculate the IRR, the period that you have there might not be correct. So you need to calculate a new period. And this is basically what these uh, measure that I found on the Power BI community does. It modifies the table that has been fed to XIRR. So if you can see here, I have XIRR measure in there. And then let me make it a little bit smaller. So this is the XIRR and then you feed a table and then you put a cash flow and a date. Okay. And this table that is being fed is not this table. It's a modified table. It's another table altogether. And this is what he made using add columns. We will go through that in detail so you can see. And you see here that he created a three, day 365 column that is feeding in here. So instead of putting cash flow and period as you would normally, is using cash flow and the new date that you don't see. I mean, it is, it is in here. So it modifies the current table to be able to make the calculation. Let me show you. It is actually possible to see and it's very, very powerful. So what we're going to do is grab this table that is being created in between and take a look at it and see what it is. So we're going to go to the new table because add columns returns a table. And then you can feed that table to another function so it returns a value and put it in a measure. But otherwise, add columns by itself, it just returns a table. So don't put it in a measure. It will give you an error. Okay, so we're going to copy that add columns part. And you're going to see now the famous, or famous, famous, <laughs> no, not famous, but you're going to see here now the new column. You see it there? And this is the column that was fed to calculate IRR. So it's very, very, very easy. Um, so how does add columns work. You see here, it feeds project A, and then it says, okay, we're going to create now a new column, which is going to be called date 365. You, you see it here, date 365, and the column is going to be calculated using this. 
And this table is stored internally and then is fed to the other measure to calculate. Okay? So this is very, 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 very useful and very powerful. Now I'm going to show you another thing. Because in this case, it turned out that project A, you know, our original table, it only had two columns, period and cash flow, which is, you know, we only need two columns. Fine. What happens if we add a new column to this? So let me show you. If I go into queries, so we're going to add customer or a, a column. Let's say that this was an investment for a machine and this is uh, machine A, for example, okay? So we had a column. Now we're going to move this down and we're going to put this text just so we don't duplicate the uh, change type step. Close and apply. And uh, now we have a new column. Now for the calculation that we wanted, we only need period and cash flow. When we have this table, you will see here that now the machine appears here because we are saying to add columns to put all the, t the columns in here. And that's not always what you want. Sometimes, especially if you have big tables and you want to calculate a virtual table to do another calculation on the fly, you might want to just get the columns that you need. So what you can do here is you can go to in there and then use summarized and summarize will be project A and then you just pick the columns that you need which in this case is period and uh, cash flow and that's all that's all you need to do so now instead of bringing the entire table you're just bringing the two columns that you need and uh, that's it you know it will help DAX engine to do the work more effectively when you are not just bringing everything, okay? So when you need it, you just add columns and summarize and it will make your life and your DAX engine's life easier. Okay, so now you know how DAX, uh, add columns work and we got a refresher and summarize. Double goodie. Okay, so this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a started understanding of these virtual table things and how you can manipulate DAX to do the calculations that you want. Very, very powerful. So any comments and questions, let me know in the comment box and have a great weekend. I will see you again on Monday. Until then, take care and bye bye.